how to do latte art. Is it again? <laughs> Work of art. That was actually so hard. Do you know what? Sometimes I need to take my own advice. Okay, with you. Hello, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. I have got a new camera and I'm so excited about it. I've got the Canon. It's not the Canon. I've got the Sony ZV1. ZV1? No idea. But anyways, welcome back to another video. I hope you enjoyed the last one and the last 10 that you've gone and watched. Today I'm going to do a full day of eating again. I love these videos. Right, I've sat down for my breakfast. I've got porridge bowl this morning. Not the most appetising thing in the world, I know. Around 60 grams of oats, some peanut butter, and that is it. And I've got my coffee as well. Cooked with water, not milk. This is all I need for the morning session. So I've got a two hour kicking session, plenty of carbs, some fats to keep me full through the day. I absolutely love porridge for breakfast. It's kind of my staple and my go-to. It just tastes nice and homely as well. It's so cold at the minute, and I just get really excited for my little bowl of porridge in the morning. It's great. So mine is, I like it quite thick. Chunky. That's how I like my porridge. Right, I'm done. I'm finished. I'm just about to head to my session now and I've refilled my bottle. I'm gonna drink this and probably another one through the session. I've just had a screen protector delivered. Someone put a screen protector on my camera. Because my old camera I didn't really take good care of. I did make a coffee, but it's not the best coffee in the world. Um I'm probably just gonna abandon that. <laughs> Right, so I've just finished training. I did kicking this morning. It was an individual session with Jade, Bianca, and my coach. So it just means you do your own sessions based on your own targets, that kind of thing. I've come to the kitchen now and my lunch has arrived. I get lunches from Gemology, so I'm fortunate enough to have my meals sent for me, which is such a big help. It was Gemology, but I think it's Kettlebell now. I think they changed the brand. But the meals have stayed pretty much the same. I've gone for the vegetarian option or the vegan option. I'm not a vegan or vegetarian, but I do prefer to have vegetable based meals just because it's a lot more volume I'm a hungry person and I can get a lot more volume in for so much less calories which is great and I just like the feeling of veg I don't know if that's a strange thing or not but I always feel really good after eating veg so why not eat more veg? While protein is massively important I get it through other ways as well protein shakes, protein bars, all that kind of thing it is obviously better from food there's still plenty of protein in these meals so I've got corn, oops corn in this one, veggie sausages so there's still a lot of variety. It's got 28 grams of protein in. 29 grams of protein for this tofu. Yeah, so although I'm eating predominantly veg, plant-based foods, I'm getting my protein in still. But right, I go about an hour or so until my next session. Another tip as well, a massive tip, is hydration. Hydration is massive. So I try to get at least five litres a day. Um, I don't have just water, so I have electrolyte, low sugar juices, all that kind of thing, just to keep replenishing you know, the fluid that I'm losing training because I'm in there training for two hours roughly and then I'm out and then I'm training again so I'm sweating a lot. I'm losing a lot of salt, losing a lot of electrolytes and water so key is hydration for me. A lot of people say it but it is true. I, d I do drink a lot through the day. Don't mistake that with drinking too much in one go because that could actually be dangerous. I'm not even lying. So don't go out there and drink two litres of water in about 10 minutes. Do not do that because that is not good for your body. Have a bottle with you, handy, all day. Keep filling it up and then you just end up sipping through the day anyway. If it's easy to reach and it's not an inconvenience for you to go and get water and fill your bottle up, then you'll tend to just sip naturally and habitually anyway. So. of my heart rate so you like just go basically for 90 seconds and then I had some rest in between which was fabulous six times so that was my condition this afternoon pretty tough I actually thought it was okay today like, I did that session last week did I do that session last week yeah I think I did that session last week and it was it wasn't like that it didn't go that well so progress this week which is amazing I didn't feel as tired I was tired obviously I'm gonna be tired I'm kicking flat out from it half. do you know what sometimes I need to take my own advice because 
This Lauren right now is not the Lauren that was just in there. I did have like head rushes towards the end, probably because I'm very dehydrated. So my plan now is to just rehydrate. I've put two hydro tablets in a bottle back there. Ooh, these. I've been using these obviously because the team is sponsored by High Five at the minute. So they're electrolyte tablets just to help reabsorb water that I've lost in the session. I'm gonna have an ice. That's a lie, I'm not gonna have an ice bath. I'm gonna have a hot bath now. Just kind of like relax, let my muscles relax. I'm gonna recover there and then I'm gonna head to the house, probably have a nap. I've got work at, uh, I leave at half four, so I'm gonna relax in this bath for a bit, rehydrate, and then I'm gonna head to work. Right, so I'm in work and there's a coffee machine. Obviously, I've gotta learn to prepare and make drinks, and I'm trying so hard to learn how to do latte art and make a cappuccino like look fancy and nice. It's so much harder than it looks. Mine are tragic right now. I'm gonna do one now and show you what mine are like. Ready? Uh, I'm gonna give myself credit with credits due because I'm using oat milk and it's so much harder to do it with oat milk. Just saying. It's got me a little, um, can't remember what it's called, but pouring the milk into that. I love doing this as well. It makes me feel all barista and professional. Like how cool is that? Right, I've got my little espresso. Oh, it's a mushroom, that's lovely. It's a mushroom. Yeah. A mushroom. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Safe. Mm. It's definitely an interesting design. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. Work of art. Mm. We're on a fermenting pass, and I'm eating the leftover kimchi with rice. It's actually gorgeous. Hold on, let me get the jars. I'll show you. Put coffee in this one for the chef. He has no idea. Hello, this is Future Lauren editing. A massive, massive thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. That is kind of a full day in my life. Training, eating, working. I absolutely love work. I've slotted in so well. I've only recently joined the team at Food Sorcery and everyone is so nice. Every time I go there, I look forward to the evenings because everyone's so lovely. We always have a right laugh. I actually feel so bad, but Chef Yan is absolutely amazing. We had a great time. The customers had a great time. It was just one of them lovely shifts that, I don't know, was just nice and bubbly. I'll leave the food sorcery link in the description below if you are interested in cooking or you know someone that's interested in cooking. You can buy it as gifts, birthday presents, Christmas presents, that kind of thing. They do cooking together experiences. You don't have to know how to cook. Like, that is the fun of it. You go there, relax, enjoy, eat a lot of food, cook a lot of food. And it's just generally a great atmosphere and a great vibe. I love working there. I love the people there. And yeah, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave the link in the description below. Massive thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.